Braxton! You have responsibilities to do just like me and your mother. No, Dad. Not like we can get one free day to do anything we'd like anyways. Sometimes? I wonder if they do that stuff to you guys for fun. How dare you bring this filth into our home! This is a sin! Mom, no! That's an invasion of my privacy! You can't just do that! I got an idea! Make a YouTube channel! Melissa Braxton! Time to get up! It's chore day! Those kids, I swear. Just because it's the weekend doesn't mean they can be slackers today. Their rooms are a mess. Melissa Braxton, get up or you will lose any privileges we gave you for this weekend. <laughs> I can't get in a few extra minutes of sleep. I spent all week prepping for exams. At least let me rest. But Daddy, I'm tired. I don't want to get up. I want to sleep. I do not care. You have responsibilities to do just like me and your mother. You're going to do them. Yes, Dad, we know. What chores do I have to do before heading to my friend's pajama party later on tonight? Where is your brother, young lady? He's supposed to be joining you. I don't know. Probably still up in his room refusing to get up. I don't blame him. Then I guess I better go get him out of bed by force. We do not condone slacking in this house. Not like we can get one free day to do anything we'd like anyways. Braxton, get up this instant! You have chores to do and you need to clean your room! You don't have to yell at me, Daddy! I was only sleeping! Don't you start crying! You heard me to tell you to get out of bed! Yet here you are, still in it! Get up and start picking up your toys or I'll throw them away! Yes, Daddy. I'll pick up my toys. Just please don't throw away my superheroes. I'll think about it, Braxton. Prove to me you can do what is asked of you to keep them. Was Braxton still in his bed when you went upstairs to check on him, dear? Uh, yeah, he was, and his room was a complete disaster. So now he has to prove to me he can keep his toys. It had to be done, my love. Anyway, Melissa is in the kitchen doing the dishes right now. She's determined to leave for her friend's house later on tonight. Well, let's see if she can do this properly, then she can go. If not, she can stay in her room staring at the wall. I hope Daddy lets me keep you guys. I'm putting them away as he asked. Braxton, are you sleeping again, boy, or are you cleaning your room? Yes, I am, Daddy. Almost done, too. All right, well, hurry up, or you'll miss out on breakfast. Boys, hurry up. Breakfast is almost ready. Coming, dear! I am, Mommy. Just have a few more toys to put away, and then I'll be down. All right. Well, the bacon's done, and it's on the table, ready for you boys to come get your share. Smells heavenly, dear. Thank you for cooking us breakfast. You are very welcome, my love. Now, kids, make sure you eat up. You're gonna need it. I'll be sure to eat all of my food because I want to go to the pajama party. Okay, Mommy. I 
gotta make sure to eat all of my food. All right, let's chow down so we can get this house looking clean before we let any of you do anything. Okay, everyone. Well, besides Braxton, let's dig in. What do we have to do out here? Yeah, Daddy. The yard looks clean already. What do we have to do out there for our chore? We have to pick apples that I brought yesterday in the yard. We need them for your mother's pie, so you both have to find the basket that's somewhere around here. Um, are the apples safe to eat? Yeah, I do like this idea. Can we just eat bacon? No can do, kiddos. Now get me my apples. To agree was a pain, though. Oh, trust me. I know the feeling there, Britt. My mom and dad made us do a bunch of chores just to do anything today. Sometimes? I wonder if they do that stuff to you guys for fun. I get that we need discipline sometimes, but they feel like some weird punishments. I know they do, and I can't do anything about it. You know how stubborn they can be. Do they still lock the kitchen at 8 o'clock? Yeah. They still do. I know, it's weird. I don't know what else to say to that, honestly. from that household and allowing me free space to be me. Yeah, you can be yourself here, Melissa. You're fine. My mom even left us with some snacks for later when we get hungry. Good. With all the fun we'll be having, we might need those munchies. Let's get this party started! Dude, thanks for inviting me to this party. It's been so fun to sit and chill with everyone. No problem, Melissa. We all need at least one day to relax and refresh ourselves. Those exams were brutal on Friday. <sighs> I just hope I have a good grade on it. That's all I'm asking for. Well, it's getting late, Mel. I want to call it a night and head to bed. You gotta go home tomorrow because my mom only let this happen for one night. Weekends are family time. <sighs> yeah, we need to get some sleep before I have to go home and deal with my parents all over again. I'm sorry, Mommy! I didn't mean to be bad! How dare you bring this filth into our home! This is a sin! As punishment, you are reading the Bible until I tell you to stop! 
No, mommy. I don't like that book. It's too hard to read. I don't care. You should know better than reading fantasy books in this house, young man. Mommy, please, let me read this book. And why are you sneaking around, Melissa? Are you hiding any magic or fantasy books in that backpack of yours, too? No, ma'am. I only have clothing from the pajama party the other night and nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm, I don't believe you. You're sneaking behind the couch trying not to get noticed, young lady. Let me see your bag. No need to, Mom. I'm not lying about what's in my bag, and I was only trying to stay out of sight so I wouldn't get into trouble for just walking past to get to my room upstairs. I don't trust you. If your brother did, there's a chance you did too. Mom, oh, no! That's an invasion of my privacy! You can't just do that! This is my house, and as long as you stay here, you will live by my rules. Melissa! This is not allowed in this house! You lied to me! As punishment, you will read and recite the Bible word for word to me and your father! That's ridiculous! It's a book for Pete's sake! Mom, we have to read them as homework from time to time! What are you going to do? Ban me from reading too? How dare you speak to me in that tone, Melissa! I am your mother and you will listen to me! You are insane! You can't just ground me like a normal parent would do! No, you have to go to such extreme lengths like this! <gasps> Melissa! How did it go? Horrible! I read the Bible from front to back and recited it for my parents. Mom wasn't too thrilled. I'm so sorry, dude. I know when my mom gets upset with me, she just takes stuff away for a day and then I get it back shortly after. You mean your mom doesn't go out of her way to ruin your day over something so ridiculous? No. You sure this is normal for you, Mel? Because I don't hear anyone else's parents doing what yours do. Not to be rude or anything, just being honest. Huh. I know my parents won't listen to me if I talk to them about this. They'll just dismiss it and think it's because I'm reaching that age where I rebel. I got an idea! Make a YouTube channel! Everyone is doing it and it can be a way of venting out what is bugging you! Loads of people might be going through what you are. Well, that does sound like a good idea. Okay, next time I'll give it a try. Though, I'll most likely do it when no one is home. Don't need them finding out what I'm doing. Especially Braxton. I honestly think this will be a good thing for you, dude. Thank you for the suggestion, Brittany. Anytime, dude.
sweetie. I came to get you this time. Your brother and father decided we should go out to eat for once. Would you like that? Can I go home? I have a lot of homework to do for algebra class. Yeah, sure. Want us to bring you something on the way back? Yes, I would like that very much, please. And thank you, Mom. All right, sweetie. Let's get you home so you can get to work on your math homework. Okay, so, everyone ready to go? Where's Melissa? Is she not coming with us? No, she wanted to stay home and work on her algebra homework instead, so I'm letting her. She's 16 now, old enough to be alone. Yeah, you're right. She can be trusted with this at least. The books, however, we might need to check. Oh, I plan to check on the reading material from now on since that incident with both of them. Okay, so I made the channel. Now all I gotta do is just talk to my heart's content. But uh, where to start is the question. Why not just start with the book incident? Yeah, I should, cause that is the one thing that's bugging me and I, if I don't talk about it, I'm going to explode. Thanks for the idea. You're very much welcome, girly. Now get to venting. You have a lot to get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm getting there, sheesh. so much better talking and sharing how I feel about that whole situation, Brittany. I can tell there was so much unhappiness in your voice and disdain about how you were told to do this. What hurt most was you thought this was normal when it wasn't. What can I say, Britt? This is my daily life. It's not something I would wish on anyone else, even on my worst enemies. Hey, at least now you will know if you aren't alone out there, Mel. Maybe some people understand you and where you're coming from. Yeah, you're right. Anyways, now that I uploaded my first video, can you tell me what is the answer to the first question of this homework? I'm so confused. Oh no, I didn't realize! I was too busy being immersed in your venting that I got distracted! <laughs> Oddly enough, I am not surprised one bit in that since you seemed eager to hear me vent. Well, I'm glad you aren't upset with me for listening to you speak. Nah, I have no reason to be mad at you for being supportive. Of course not! I am the most lovable dorky friend! You can't stay mad at me for long! <laughs> okay, okay. Don't start getting a big ego now. It'll fill your head with hot air and you will no longer be smart. Hey now, I might have my airhead moments, but don't gotta call me out like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs>
is this? Why is she letting the entire world know of our private business like this? Ugh, does she not feel any shame? We will see when she comes in from picking up the leaves in the backyard. Please don't be mad at her, Mommy, Daddy. She didn't do anything wrong. She never even mentioned you guys. Nothing wrong? Uh, Braxton, Melissa aired out our lives onto the internet for all to know about. We're going to be the laughingstocks of the neighborhood and harshly judged. We'll have a strong talk with her when she comes inside about these vlogs that she's been making. This is unforgivable. Melissa, sit down at the kitchen table right now. We have something to discuss with you. And you are not to leave this table till we're done talking to you. Okay? What did I do wrong? I was just raking the leaves as you told me to do before lunch. What are you doing posting our lives on YouTube for? Are you trying to make me and your mother look like fools? How did you find out about that? I never told you or anyone else about Doesn't it. Doesn't matter. You have made me and your father look disgraceful. I hope you're proud of yourself, Melissa. But mom, I didn't even mention your names in any of my vlogs. Everything is completely secret, including me. I don't care. You have done something that we do not approve of. Nothing we pick as punishment will ever equal the intensity of the whole predicament you put us in. So you'll stay seated here until we come up with one. But that's not fair! I didn't do anything wrong by venting in a video! Mom, say something! Please! No, Melissa. We need time to think about this. Now you stay in the kitchen until we're done discussing. Melissa, me and your mother have talked and we've come to an agreement. Which agreement would that be, Dad? After what you have done and how we can't overlook this, we are left with no choice but to disown you, Melissa. But no, you're not serious, are you? That's a bit rash for just a few videos posted online. No, it's not. We can't forgive you for what you've done, and we don't want your brother to follow in your footsteps. We didn't like this decision either, but it's the only one that made any sense to your father and me. Well, I am no longer your daughter. Does this mean I have to leave the house then? That's correct. We're gonna give you at least one week to find a new place to stay, Melissa. Gee, thanks for the hospitality you both are showing me right now. I'm so sorry your dad did that to you, sweet pea. I don't know why he thinks treating you this way is good parenting. It's okay, Nana. I'll figure it out somehow. Thank you for taking me in, though. I truly am grateful to you. No need to thank me. You need to be in a more loving environment, my dear. From what you told me, they don't seem to care at all that much. I agree with you there, Nana. I may make some food later. Is it all right if I do? Yes, you can, sweetie. I need to make a phone call anyway, so you go relax and eat. Thank you once again, Anna. I love you. You get over here this instant, mister. We need to talk.
Have you lost your mind, son? Melissa is just a child and you abandon her just like that and with no remorse? How did you become so heartless? She... she made videos about our lives, Mom. What was I supposed to do? Let her stay? Yes, she is your daughter. This is no way to treat her. You should be ashamed of yourself. And if you do this to Braxton next over something small or like what Melissa did, I will gladly take him under my wing as well. You are unfit to be a parent. Do you understand me? <sighs> y yes, Mother. I understand completely. Nanas? Actually, yes, I do. It's easier to live here than at home. I'm sorry I can't be with you, Braxton. It's okay. I'm just happy you get some sort of freedom here at Nanas. I want that someday. You know, Mama cries a lot back at home because she misses you. Huh, I would gladly go see her if she would only just ask. But we both know she won't swallow her pride and do that. I'm not as cold as she is. I know you would. Give Mama some time. Maybe she'll be nice at some point. <laughs> I'll keep an open mind to that, Braxton. But I don't think I'll ever go back home. Or what was home to me. Though Dad should be happy. I removed my channel, which all he had to do was ask and I would have done that too. But why? It was doing so well and you had a lot of people watching your videos. It did, but the only reason why I made it was to share how I was feeling. Now that I don't feel like that anymore, I don't see the need to keep it up. It had a good run, but all good things must come to an end. Hi, Bacon here, Animated here. And today you'll see the story of a zombie apocalypse in Brookhaven. <laughs> <laughs>